Hey you, it's your girl Amaka coming through. If you're new, click the subscribe button and smash that like button. It won't cost you nothing. Welcome back to my channel. Hello, you watching, listening to my voice. Today we're going to be talking hair, natural hair. Lloyd, I know that I really like talking about natural hair because growing up, it's like we are forced literally thinking that um relaxing your hair starts perming your hair like to, with chemicals and everything was normal and decent but realizing growing up and realizing that it's okay to rock your natural kinky furry hair so today we're going to be talking natural hair and as you can see my hair is dry as a bone and like there is no moisture it is very dry it's wash day and it's dry it's not that dirty but it is wash day so we are going to be washing my hair today and i will be showing you all the products that i will be using on my hair i'm going to show you what she looks like before i loosened my i had like cornrows on that i weaved my hair so inserting the video one two three okay guys so this is what my hair looks like without you know when it's still in a protective style up there i know it's crazy uh okay not much difference just showing you how amazing my hair is <laughs> basically okay guys these are the products that i will be using on my hair today coconut oil extra virgin coconut oil shea moisture so good for my hair i use this as a pre poo oil just so that you know my hair does not break much during the washing process this is just my um i'm just going to be using this pipette for the oil for the coconut oil there is nothing inside that bottle it's empty <laughs> and um my conditioner my Cantu Shea Butter Natural Hair Conditioner, sulfate free, as you all can see. Very good conditioner, good for both natural and relaxed hair. Next, we have my full lengthy hair shampoo. This shampoo, I have the butter as well of the shampoo. It's really good on my hair. Plus, it really just cleanses my scalp very thoroughly. And I like it and the ingredients that they used to make it are very very nice this is the butter that goes that I use after washing and conditioning my hair really good butter it contains a lot shea butter jojoba oil olive oil uh, pepper mint oil tea tree oil all those good stuff you know so we are getting into it first we are going to divide my hair into four sections so that it's easier to walk through in the process of washing, detangling, conditioning, all that stuff. So we're going to divide it into four sections and probably braid or twist. But the important thing is dividing it into four sections. So it's just easier to work with. Thank you. 
okay guys so after i'm done washing my hair i'm going to section it into four sections again and this time i'm going to apply my conditioner note in my conditioner i um used some coconut oil inside it like i infused coconut oil so it's a mix of the conditioner i showed you earlier plus the coconut oil you saw so i really like it because it just penetrates more into my hair and just i don't know i just like adding coconut oil to my conditioners so yes that is what is inside that little cup thingy there so i'm just going to apply that to each section and then twist or braid it again before i wash it out for the final time but yes this is just me applying the conditioner to my hair to each section making sure i get each section that's why the comb is there to make sure it's applied to every strand of the hair every strand needs love so after that we're just going to set that aside and go on to the next section and do this for all four of them before i leave my hair for about an hour then wash